there is a very famous speaker, I'm not going to mention his name, but he says the Dajjal is the television screen. And he gives good arguments. The Dajjal is one eye, the TV is one screen. I'm going to get rid of my brain and say, okay, I agree with you. I is a screen now. He said, why is he called the Dajjal? Because he lies all the time. What do you see from the TV? Lies all the time. Everything lies. News, lies. Commercial, lies. The sandwich in the commercial. The thing is fall in slow motion. The lettuce is sweating and it's spinning. When you buy it, it's like the guy stepped on it with his foot and gave it to you. Then the hadith says, the Dajjal enters every household. And the TV is in every household. Sounds good, sir. Huh? If that's all I knew about the Dajjal, I'm like, wallahi, the guy makes sense. Right, but what's our rule? All the signs have to fit. It. The hadith also says that the Dajjal has a right eye and it's protruding like a grape. The hadith says that on his forehead it says Kafir, not Sony. The hadith says that the Dajjal cannot enter Mecca and Medina. Are there TV sets in Mecca and Medina? The hadith mentions that the Dajjal will cut a young man in half. Do they make a TV that does that? If they do, don't buy it. Why would you buy it? So does it match now? It doesn't. There's a speaker who is popular for talking about the signs before the end. He actually has photos of the dam, the barrier of Yaluj and Majuj. He has photos. He said it was broken 12 years ago and they came out. The Dajjal, that's the British. It doesn't even fit. The Dajjal is a human being. And the Prophet when he described the Dajjal, he said, I'll tell you who looks like him. Ibn Qatan looks kind of like him. So that's not a system. That's not a new world order. And because we're dealing with the unseen, one of the biggest red flags is when somebody is certain about something and they give you dates and times and locations. But how is it the unseen if you like you know it so well? How is that possible. If you're listening to anybody who's doing a series on the end of times and they're speaking very precisely, they're giving you dates, they're saying there's no other interpretation, no room for any other explanation, don't listen to that person anymore. Not even a little bit. People will say that Al-Mahdi will free Bayt Al-Maqdis. Al-Mahdi is going to free Falastin. There is not a single hadith that says Al-Mahdi will free Falastin. Not even a fabricated hadith that says the Mahdi is going to free Falastin. But you hear it all the time. When you say the Mahdi will free Palestine, Wallahi, I don't know about you, but that takes hope away from me. Who else is with me? You tell me the people of Gaza and Palestine, they have to sit through this until the Mahdi comes and everything we do is useless. Yani our dua won't help and nothing will help. We just have to we just watch Netflix and when the Mahdi comes, it's his job. Yani I'm going to do his job. Wallah, it takes hope away from you. The Hadith mentions, it casually mentions that he'll, he'll be in Bayt al-Maqdis. This doesn't talk about freeing it. So the scholar said, the fact that he's going to go to Bayt al-Maqdis indicates that it's already free. It's a Muslim location that he just goes to and he rules from there or he settles there. Yeah, because it's already free. Not a single hadith mentions that he frees it. That gives you more hope. That says, yeah, you can do things. And boycotting, la wait till the Mahdi comes. You can't do anything till the Mahdi comes. No, that's not true. Then there are other indications of yani, the Dajjal when he comes. He will have 70,000 from the Jews of Isfahan coming with him. Where are they coming towards? Towards Jerusalem. So the scholar said, so why are these Jews not in Jerusalem? And by the way, one of the dumbest things ever is if someone tells you, oh, you said the Jews will follow the Dajjal and that's anti-Semitic. Okay, stop with the nonsense, all right? First of all, the Jews will follow the Dajjal. And guess what, ya Habib? The Christians will follow the Dajjal. Dajjal. The atheists will follow the Dajjal. And the Muslims will follow the Dajjal, mashallah, in droves. Prophet said that man will chain his wife to the pillars of the home so she doesn't go and join the Dajjal. And he says that she'll break free and join the Dajjal. So yeah, don't worry. We didn't say just the Jews. Muslims, barbu. People are saying nonsense over the internet all the time. This one guy. He said that Dajjal isn't here. And Yajuj and Majuj aren't here. This is because we haven't found them. We have Google Earth. You expected to see the barrier of Yajuj and Majuj? It's thousands of years old. You just big door, mathala. No mud, moss, trees grew over it. There's no rocks all on top of it. So you just want to like cruise the earth with your mouse at home and said, there it is, ah, I found it. You know why Allah doesn't want you to find them? Doesn't want us, meaning like our world today, everyone alive, Muslim, not to find the Yujin Ma'jud. If we found the barrier today, what do you think will happen? First, the anthropologists are going to come and then we have to examine these people and make contact with the natives of Musharraf. America will find out they have oil immediately. Yeah, and Oh, we got to give them democracy. Introduce them to the iPhone and we're not going to leave them alone. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't allow us to find them. So when Allah hides something, 
we're not gonna find it. So how come we can't find the Dajjal? I'll tell you why, Habib. Because Allah Azza doesn't want you to find it. Does that make sense to you? How come we can't find the Dajjal? What do you want from him? You want to find him? You don't want to find him. Some of our the classical scholars try to estimate the day of judgment by calculating backwards from the day of judgment to the time we live today. Yani, if I can estimate and count from the major signs. But the hadith that says there's 50 years between each major sign is a weak hadith. You can't, you can't. If Allah wants to hide something from you, you're not going to cleverly figure it out. 